Thank you for viewing this video on the Roush Cleantech Generation 4 fuel pump replacement. This video will show you the steps required to remove and install fuel pumps. The fuel pumps come as a pair housed together with a sock filter. When replacing fuel pumps, the Generation 4 fuel pump kit is needed. This includes the fuel pumps, an O-ring for the access flange, and a supply line filter. It is important to change the supply line filter when changing the fuel pumps. This will help ensure that clean fuel is being delivered to the fuel rail. This repair will need 8mm, 10mm, and 14mm sockets, an extension, ratchet, torque wrench, 3 quarter, 9 16 and 13 16 wrenches, and 9 16 3 quarter, and 13 16 crow's foot. To start, follow the fuel line purging procedure in the service manual. There is a video for this procedure as well. Remove both ends of the supply line filter. Loosen the mounting clamp holding the filter in place and remove the filter. Install the new filter and tighten the mounting clamp. Hand tighten the two fuel lines to either end of the fuel filter. Torque the inlet side of the filter to 57 newton meters, 42 foot pounds. Torque the outlet side of the fuel filter to 28 newton meters, 21 foot pounds. Drain the fuel from the fuel tank by following the fuel tank draining procedure in the service manual. There is another video available utilizing the Roush Cleantech transfer kit. Safety is always key. Perform the tank depressurization test to be confident that the fuel tank is empty. To start, open the bleeder valve located on the tank to ensure no fuel is escaping. Repeat this step, closing and opening the bleeder valve again. No fuel should release from the bleeder valve. Key the vehicle to the on position. Using a capable OBD2 scan tool, monitor fuel rail pressure, FRP. In this video, we are using the Roush diagnostic tool. Open the manual shutoff valve and key the vehicle to start. After five seconds, key the vehicle off. Key vehicle to on and measure fuel rail pressure, FRP. The pressure should read below 15 PSI. If the pressure is below 15 PSI, the tank is empty. If the pressure is above 15 PSI, repeat steps starting from fuel line purging procedure. Once the tank is verified to be empty, disconnect the negative battery terminal. Disconnect the external fuel pump connectors located on the tank access flange. Next, remove the access flange. Using hand tools, slowly loosen the screws securing the access flange in small star pattern increments. When opening or working inside the tank, do not use power tools to prevent a possible source of ignition. Continue removing the screws until the flange is loose enough to wiggle. This helps ensure there is no pressure inside the tank. Remove the screws and carefully remove the access flange, taking care not to damage the connected wiring. Reach into the tank and disconnect the two electrical connectors on the fuel pump housing and set the access flange aside. Discard the access flange O-ring. For better viewing, we are switching to our cutaway tank so that each step can be seen more easily. Release the left fuel pump hose quick connect from the front of the jet pump. Remove the right fuel pump hose quick connect from the top of the jet pump assembly. Use caution when doing this to prevent from breaking the jet pump assembly. Next, remove the fuel pump hose quick connect going to the supply valve. Next, remove the 8mm center bolt in the middle of the fuel pump housing and the two 10mm nuts from the top corners of the fuel pump housing. Pull the fuel pumps from the studs, lift upwards, and remove it bottom first. Remove the magnets from the bottom of the tank next to the pumps and discard. Wear protective gloves as magnets may have metallic debris. Insert the new fuel pumps, top first. Align them so that they rest on the mounting studs. Ensure that the longer side of the fuel pump filter routes underneath the bracket. In the fuel pump kit are new magnets. Place these in the tank near the four corners of the fuel pumps. Torque the center bolt to 5.8 newton meters, 4.3 foot pounds. Torque the two nuts onto the mounting studs to 8.5 newton meters, 6.3 foot pounds. 
Now connect the left fuel pump hose quick connect to the front of the jet pump assembly. Connect the right fuel pump short side quick connect hose to the top of the jet pump assembly and long side to the supply valve hose. Ensure that each side of the connections are secure by using the push-pull method. Inspect the access flange mounting surface on the tank and remove any debris. Apply silicone o-ring lubricant to the new o-ring and place in the groove of the access flange. Connect the internal fuel pump connectors to the fuel pump housing. Verify solid connection. Install the access flange on the tank and hand tighten the eight screws. Torque in a star pattern to an initial 3 newton meters, 26.5 inch pounds. Then torque in a star pattern to 40.6 newton meters, 30 foot pounds. Lastly, use the fuel tank purging procedure to purge air from the tank, leak check the tank and lines, fill the tank, and verify correct operation.